Guys, how you doing? Look what I found. How many times? Time. What is it with you lot? Look, look, everyone, everyone, everyone. Look, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this, this is, watch this, come on. Bert, out of the way. Right, okay. Everybody, everybody watch this, watch this. Is it good? Is it cool? Is it cool? Okay, they're playing it cool, but they're, they're really, really impressed. They are. Trust me, I know these things. I'm a people person. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where we are straight outside the Repcon headquarters at midnight, more or less. Last time, I found my new favorite gun. The Q35 Matter Modulator. Which is about as ridiculous as it looks, honestly. I mean, it... it it is hilarious. It is a plasma rifle that you can hold down the trigger and charge it up and it fires a, a, a projectile that explodes like a fucking missile. Yeah, and I, I might have tested it out on that car and uh, these legionary assassins off camera. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, moving on. We're on our way to Vegas. Ostensibly. <laughs> but you could be mistaken for thinking we're actually here to just loot random, incredibly expensive, high power energy weapons and blowing the Legion to bits with them. But uh, in actual fact, we are here to go to Vegas, which you can see over there. It's got the lights on and everything. Um, we're off the beaten track a little bit here. We sort of saw this place in the distance and I just decided to go explore it on a whim. We came out of it rather well, so in addition to our massive supply of scrap metal, we now have 200 plus um, wads of pre-war cash, which as soon as I get a level up and I get the forgery perk, I can turn into NCR dollars, and I uh, honestly, while previously I might have been like, oh I don't want to, I don't want to do that, because I think the NCR are awfully nice chaps and I'd rather not uh, hurt them in any way, but 200 wads of freaking cash is too much to pass up, lads. I'm sorry. We're going to be filthy rich, and the NCR can go suck it. As you Americans put it. So. Moving on. I guess we're carrying on down the highway here to Vegas. There you go. That's lit up properly. I'm going to turn off my light because I don't want to be lit up like a Christmas tree any more than we already are. Don't see the point. I'm just going to... Uh, let's assign you to five. There we go. We're also missing a seven because I ditched the um, plasma pistol. I do need to... I'm going to have to stay on top of my microfusion cells though because obviously to charge this beast up and fire a huge massive missile projectile thingy jobby um, it does use up a lot of ammunition to do so or charge or whatever you want to call it when you when you've got a battery plugged into it but you know so I'm gonna have to make more of those luckily you can convert other types of energy ammo like small energy energy cells and electron charge packs into microfusion cells so all we need to do is just find random bits of energy ammo and we can just convert it a reloading bench I think so ooh, look at that is it Christmas is it Christmas and no one told me 110281. Because that, that's going to be American dating, isn't it? So it's going to be month, day, year for some stupid reason instead of having it day, month, year, which would be sensible. 
I must try and modify my pit boy. I'll have to get Veronica to do it for me. Uh, yeah, so that's... Yeah, it's, it'll be February then. Oh, you, you've left the Christmas decorations up a bit late. But whatever. Not one to judge. Hello, Fitz. Grub and Gulp rest stop. Welcome to the Grub and Gulp. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. May I ask you some questions? Sure, fire away. Um... I find a doctor around here. Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. Ooh, excellent. What about weapons and armor? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. Ooh, excellent. You're a font of information, my good man. Alright, that's... See you later. That'll do it. Uh, so, rest stop. That would imply that we can rest here. Possibly. I need to go back and get the truck, don't I? So we can drive it up here. Because it's all the way back down in Novak, it's the truck. Hmm. Yeah, I do need to do that. That's that's one of the annoying things about the truck. Really, you can't. You have to go back and get the bloody thing if you've not. If you're exploring and you haven't discovered places already. That is a gigantic campfire. Look at that. Look at the size of these breeze blocks. That is huge. Holy shit. Look at that. That is massive. Holy crap. All right, fine. Well. Boys and girls, I'm afraid we're going to be resting on cardboard things tonight because, well, yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm afraid. I'll, I'll. You've not seen the truck yet. Neither has Russell. You'll, you guys will like it. It's awesome. It's a great big truck. I don't really know what it is. Like, I'm, um, I'm tempted to call it an armored personnel carrier. Really, to be honest with you, because it's pretty, pretty bulky, and pretty thick, and pretty gigantic. But hey, uh, yeah, let's rest for a while. Oh, that'll do, that'll do 8 a.m., that's fine. Okay. Good morning, Vegas. We are ever so tantalizingly close. Best of everything, all in one place, the Ultra Lux. I have to, have to check that place out, you know. Okay. Oh, random merchant people. And, uh, right, okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to go, I'm, I'm afraid... Because otherwise it's just going to be a longer trip. You know, an even longer trip. I'm going to have to go fetch the... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go and fetch the, 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 the truck from Novak. So I think... Guys, I'm going to... Oh, you know what, actually, maybe I won't take it away here. Uh, Should have brought something to read. Alright, you guys wait here. Uh, Boone... I've got your back. Yeah, you come with me. Because I'm going to need someone with me in case the Legion just sort of pops out of nowhere like it, like it has a habit of doing and starts trying to attack me. And you're the man for the job when it comes to that sort of thing. So, right. We're going to go back to Novak and we're going to get the truck. It's going to be a bit of a long walk, I'm afraid, old chum. But um, there's nothing else we can do. But, oh, there is one thing we can do. If I can get the pick boy to work, we can put on our shades. Oh yeah. Come on then, let's go. Okay, luckily for us, the grub and gulp here is one of the places you can in fact park the truck, so yeah, awesome. Here it is, Snord's Glory. What do you think, eh? Come on, it's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. You know, I mean how many how many functioning trucks do you see? in the wasteland. Not many is the answer. Not many. So, especially since this one's probably have to be, had to be retrofitted to use flame of fuel as opposed to, you know, nuclear fusion or whatever the fuck it was these old cars used. Something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so anyway, I think we'll continue onwards then, shan't we? You can stop using your I can knife. Recall. 
You psychopath. Right. What the hell's that? Barnes missing page. An accessible door. Well, we may never know. As it turns out. Look at these great big things, whatever they were. Highway things going up and over. And that's just so awesome. Oh, my. Oh, you bastards. Oh, that just that completely timed out the fucking... Oh, yeah. Fiends. Can't run from me. Okay, note to self. We can't actually just sit around waiting for the damn thing. I need to get behind cover before I try that, basically, is what needs to happen. Yikes. Oh, everything's going dark. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I think everything's... Uh, right, okay. Vision has been restored. Oof. Right. Does jumping at them with my fists count as ranged? No. No, it definitely doesn't. Sorry, but that's just the way it has to be. Okay. And you can... Yeah, you can just carry on doing your super sledge thing. All right. Okay, are we all set? No one's getting their knives out, Russell. We're good. You're looking very swish, by the way. Hurt the ones we care about the most. I didn't... Oh. I was paying you a compliment, as a matter of fact. Fiend destroyers. Thank you for the microfusion cells, of course. And again, I've, I'm running with a mod at the moment that 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 does the purge cell buffer thing on a regular interval without me having to do it. But every now and again, it just you know, I guess the menu delay is something I'm just going to have to deal with. Like I said, it's a problem that I think comes with running New Vegas Anti Crash. Um, at least that's that's what it's been for me anyway. It always seems to. I mean, you get a bit of that every now and again when the memory gets a bit full for the game, but it feels fairly consistent when you're running with New Vegas Anti Crash enabled. And unfortunately, I can't live without it at the minute because I, if I try loading up my save game, believe it or not, if I try loading up my save game without New Vegas Anti Crash running, my save game crashes when you try to load it. So I really don't have a choice. Whatever. I'll just have to deal with it. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Good for you. I'm not sure you should be here. What, on a public highway? I I I think you can go shove that laser RCW where the sun don't shine. Sunny Jim. Yeah, so look, we're not we're not the only people that travel in a ridiculous Straying out convoy of people. Oh, are we? Look, see, it's perfectly normal. I mean, we might have a super mutant instead of a Brahmin, but that's besides the point. I see something bright red over there. So just my imagination. Oh, God, we got more floating stuff. It's a random floating door. Um, great. Happy Trails Expedition Broadcast Signal Found. Hmm. Seems to be just static. Durable Duns Sacked Caravan. Crimson Caravan Guard. Van Graaff Thug. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Anyone want some combat armor? Boone, do you want some combat armor? DT-15? 
Fine by me. Well, apparently you prefer this leather crap. Alright, fine, whatever. Suit yourself. What if that? Hang on a minute. Give me back that. Fine by me. Give me that back. Let me just attempt to repair it. Now you probably still won't want it, will you? Fine by me. But well, it's. Bugger it. There, you look much better now, I think. But you can hold on to this. Motherfucker. In case we meet another poor fool who wants to join up with our little band and he need, needs a suit of armor. Uh, whatever, you'll probably just use your rebar club or something if I leave you to your own devices. I'm sick of micromanaging you guys' weapons. It's getting annoying. Uh... Yeah, see, I think it's a big improvement, frankly. Actually. Definitely. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Actually, it might pay to be a little cautious right now. <laughs> Ash pile. Ooh, right away. Nice. Since, since we are passing through an area where a caravan was just bloody well sacked, so, you know... Common sense and all that. Ooh. Big gunfight. Coming in from over there. That's for damn sure. It's over now. Which way are we meant to be going right now? This way. Feeling a little paranoid now, actually. <laughs> Dead caravans, distant gun battles. Yeah, it's not. It's not, you know, I'm not getting that warm, fuzzy, cozy feeling. I'll give you that. Terrain is quite dreadful looking, isn't it? Look at that. Blech. Ugh, man. Stutter when shit loads in. It's probably all these damn high definition texture bags, isn't it, to be honest with you? I wouldn't be surprised if that was the chief culprit. I might just disable them for a while and go back to using regular old M NMC and just see all the differences. Hello. Gun runners. Isaac. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. So you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handled the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Who are the gun runners? I've I've already asked this kind of kind of stuff. Who's in charge of the gun runners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Uh, goodbye. Later. Alright, I wonder if I can... Hmm. Was able to convert some of my ammo, never mind. Uh, companion dismissal terminal. What? Dismissal companion. Why would I want to do that? Just a 
I'm still 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 loading in. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I'd like to purchase that, right? I'd to be very specific, but uh, this is some impressive weaponry. Where did it all come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. You build this stuff? I I assumed you just sort of looted it from places. Damn. What is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. How did you get inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Fair enough. What have you got for sale? I am ready to process our transaction. Jesus Christ, how long did it take to open that menu? Fucking hell. And you, you heard the little sound glitch that happens in the background as well when that hap when when they when it's trying to open a menu. Fucking hell do I hate it. PC fucking B right now. I mean it is it is yeah. Ugh. It's not good, ladies and gentlemen, it's not good. Well, we got anything interesting? Weapons. Two plasma rifles. Got this duplet, which I'm never using, let's be honest. I can ditch that as well. Here's 8,000 caps, I mean, come on. Might as well make the trip worth it. Hell, hang on. Accept that. Press the accept button, and yeah, about five seconds later, it actually does it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna hold on a second, viewers. Okie dokie, right now. Okay, I have done two things. The first is I've disabled most of the Ojo Bueno textures. Most, because I'm keeping the environmental ones i.e. the ground textures mostly. Because um, I like them better than the NMC ones a little bit. Uh, however, everything else now is just NMC and or vanilla. So the pavements look different and things like that. It's honestly not that noticeable, I don't think, really. There might be a few places where you'll notice cars are different colours, for example, but other than that, I, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, the the reason I being the NMC textures are a little bit smaller. The ones I've got installed, they are not quite as intensive on the old video RAM, and that kind of thing. So I, hopefully, it might make the gameplay a little, feel a little smoother. The other thing I've done, and this is the big thing, is I've updated my version of New Vegas Anti Crash. I'm using the beta version of it now, as opposed to the latest quote unquote stable release, and. I am very happy to report that it has done its job because I can now open crafting menus instantly. Fine by me. Inventories instantly. Welcome, sir or madam. Barter menus instantly and exit instantly. And I can open my escape menu almost instantly. Fucking finally. Okay, I don't know what what they added or, or got took away in the new new beta version of of the mod as opposed to the latest stable version, but whatever it was, it fixed my horrible, horrible menu delays. So, yeah, if you're having that problem, I highly recommend upgrading. Some people in the comments may have already told me to do so, to be honest with you, but I'm recording these so far ahead of you guys actually watching them that your feedback's a little bit useless. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it filters through eventually. Especially if you've mentioned something relevant on a much earlier video. But as of right now, I am, I'm uploading, I think, part 14 tonight. And I'm recording probably about part 24 or 25 right now. So, you know. Anyway. Uh, right, so, yeah, we're at the Gunrunners. Welcome, sir or madam. I, I, yes, I remember what I was doing was I actually came out of the Barter menu because I wanted to get... Motherfucker. ...things from you. Let's see this. Keep the radiation suit for now, because I want to have that around. Um, Russell, you're not carrying anything. Boone might be, though. Fine by me. He's got an assault rifle. He's got 
super sledge. Veronica. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Someday, madam, someday I will find you a dress, but that it is not this day, I'm afraid, in the words of Aragorn, son of Arathorn. <laughs> uh I love the plasma pistol, not the gun runners arsenal arsenal one. I can't I can't bear to part with that, honestly. I invested so much in that with all the mods and things for it, so. And um Let's get rid of that too. You've got your laser RCW for now, which I think I'm, I'm probably never going to get back off her at this point. I have a feeling that she sort of claimed it as her own <laughs> at this point. So, really, Veronica with the power fit? Fine, you can get away with it because you're actually really good with that thing. Um, what we, we, have a, what, we have a problem when Russell here starts taking his knife out and bad motherfucker starts trying to punch things and, you know... Motherfucker. Speaking of which. Oh yeah, I got a couple of bits of scrap metal for you, mate. Scrap metal. There we go. To add to the collection. Oh. Mother. Welcome, sir or ma'am. That robot programming, eh? Sir or madam. <laughs> uh, right, yes. Okay, so... You can have that, and you can have that, and that, and that, and that. Yeah, it's a shame to get rid of it, but, you know, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit beyond shotguns at this point. I think the power fist really kind of, really comes in where the shotgun normally would if I was, wasn't playing with an unarmed character, which sounds really dodgy. It really should be a hand-to-hand -hand character, that's what you should call it, not unarmed. Because you're not unarmed, are you? There we go. Yeah, that'll do it, I think. Unless I've got any random bits of expensive... Oh, I've got two of these. I don't think I need more than one, do I? So, let's sell one of those. Everyone's going to yell at me now in the comments because I got that terribly wrong. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Are you selling it? Oh, you could have used more than one. Oh, no. Um, oh, well. Oh, a duster. Yeah, no, thank you. AEK9... I don't even know what half these are. An AK-47, I know that one. I know what that is. And an AK-74. Uh, let's see. Auto-gauss accelerators. I want an auto-gauss. I don't even know what that is, but I want one. Beretta. Bozar. That is a lot of money. Holy crap. Bushmaster M4A1. Ooh. Do you think? Yeah. Oh, do you think Bert Boone would like that? I bet Boone would love a Bushmaster M4A1. It seems like his kind of thing. You see, he he's he, Boone seems like he's one of those tactical kind of guys. You know, he likes all his belts and pouches and high tech rifles with rail mounts and <laughs> laser sights and shit. Um. Let's see. Chinese sniper rifle. I didn't know such a thing existed. Apparently it does. It's not that good though, is it? Really. Damage wise. I, again, I'm guessing it's a semi-automatic jobby. It'll be a cheap knockoff of a, of a, of a dragon of or something. Because it has quite high DPS. Colt Pocket 1849. We used to have one of those. Colt M1911. I would kind of like that, actually. That's a nice pistol. That's a very nice pistol. Never mind. Combat armor Mark II reinforced. I bet you'd love some of that, too, actually. Kind of expensive, though. Esther. <gasps> Esther. Oh. I remember that from a certain stream we did not too long ago. <laughs> European battle rifle is that? I think that's a what do you call it? One of those Belgian rifles that the, the the British Army used to use until like the eighties or something or the nineties or whatever. DPS one hundred uses three hundred eight rounds, damage thirty nine. Gehenna. Good grief. Hunting revolver. Hunting revolver. GRA. Implants. Razor nail implants. 
I bet they'd help my unarmed skill those. Tread damper implant. Weight absorber implant. Oh, I bet that's carry weight. L96A1. Oh, yes. That does look good. I would like one of those. Oh, I could get a damaged one and repair it. <laughs> Do you guys sell we weapon repair kits? You don't, do you? You buggers. Of all the people in the wasteland, you'd expect to sell weapon repair kits. And you guys don't. That really sucks. I'd like an L96A1. It'd be a decent enough replacement for my Enfield. Alright, let's have a look at all the mods. Well, there's a lot of them. Holy shit. Oh, that's the gyro jet. I was told about that in the comments. A good example of something reaching me much, much later down the line. But yeah, I was told that that, that, that basically doesn't really fire 10mm rounds like in this game. But it fires like like miniature rockets, essentially. It's, it's a very strange gun. <laughs> Sounds fascinating, though. Anti-material rifle. That's what I want. I want an anti-material rifle. Anything for a power fist... Anything at all. Plasma weapon, mag, etc. I wonder if you can... Can I mod the matter modulator? I, 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 I'm guessing probably not, but you never know. Super sledge tenderizer plates. Oh, that'll be Bert's birthday present. Macrov, mare's leg. Mateba, model 6, Unica. Oi. That's a big handgun from what I re remember. Medicine stick. That's pretty fucking good, actually. It's also crazy expensive. A PPSH-41? you kidding? Holy shit, I want one of those. Check out the Sten gun, get one of those. Oh, hell yeah. I, I mean, I'd go through all my 9mm rounds in about 30 seconds, but... <laughs> That'd be so cool. Uh, gun runner's arsenal power fist A. Stayer AUG. Oh my god, there's so many cool weapons here. It's from a Smith and Wesson Model 10. Stayer AUG. How much damage does it do? DPS 191, damage 19. Sleepy time. Really? Taurus Raging Bull. That's also very good. Two Step Goodbye. What is that? What is Two Step Goodbye? What it, it looks like it might be a hand weapon thing. It looks like a power fist. Bonus critical damage, reduced critical damage, critical kill equals boom. What? <laughs> okay, I need to stop drooling over all the stuff they've got here. But, 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 but oh, I want two step goodbye. I really do. Or, or at least, you know, buy for Veronica for a Christmas present or something. Uh, I, you know what? I do want. Where is it? Where? 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 Where's. Power Fist, GRA, that's what I want. I find goddamn, you know, what do you call it? Uh, I find mods for that thing everywhere. Okay, um, mod, 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 mod. Reinforce the fuel hoses. Chrome bumper, nope. Is it? Oh, mod GRA. Power fist high cap valves. Increases damage 20%. Oh, yes, please. And there was a chromed something or other you could get for it as well. A chromed something. 
Ballistic fist, chromed barrels. That's not it, but I kind of want to know what a ballistic fist is now. Alright, that'll do for now. Thank you for the 5,000 gold. 20k caps. Oh. Mod. High cap valves. Yes. Very nice. It does 62 damage now instead of 52. Oops. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Did it have a slightly worse texture? No, just a slightly different one. Okay. Yeah, this one's got, like, information written on the side of it, whereas the other one had kill markings. Okay, well, we've got a spare power fizz now, I guess. Um... Welcome, sir, or ma I might as well just sell it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I've got a pimped out power fist. Which I kind of feel bad. I feel like it ought to be rightfully yours somehow. But, you know, whatever. We'll find another one someday. I'll buy you another one. It'll be fine. It'll be cool. Uh, I earned this, frankly. Anyway. So, with that out of the way. What the hell are we supposed to be doing? I've completely forgotten. Uh. Uh. Oh, we're going to Vegas, right? We're going to fucking Vegas. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, oh, there was a medical clinic around here as well. I was looking for a doctor who could install cybernetic implants, wasn't I? Yeah. Medical clinic, this way. Right, okay. Look, I know, you, I know you're excited, boys and girls, but... We'll, we'll be... We'll be in... We'll be in Vegas momentarily. I just, I need to go do this. Okay. And maybe see if they've got a few more doctor's bags. Because we kind of used a, a fair few of them back there. Oh, let's be honest. Manhole to East Central Sewers. No, thank you. Now then, let's see. Where is this supposed clinic? Down here, I think. This be it. Hmm. Oh, I think there might be a wait waiting room queue kind of a deal here going on. Uh, <laughs> um, hello, excuse me. Is there any? Oh, I'll just yeah. Don't worry, chaps. I'm British. I know how to queue. Any minute now. Dum, 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 dum. Well, while we wait, why don't we have a chat with some of the guys? Uh, Boone, how you doing? You've been very quiet. What is it? I just thought I'd say hello. You're sort of lurking in the shadows there in the corner. Um, where are you? Yeah, were you at Bitter Springs with First Recon? We heard a bit about that from Manny, so... I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. You, you must have been at Bitter Springs. What happened there? I'm curious. That part of my life's over now. And so is this discussion. You're such an endearing fellow, don't, aren't you? You know that. How do you feel about Manny Vargas? He was a good spotter. Weren't you also friends? Yeah, we were. Not anymore, then. No. Yeah. Yeah. But... Motherfucker? You never let me down when I'm in, a mood, in the mood for a chat, do you? Well, what if we, what if we, hypothetically speaking, I mean, I haven't seen any around here, apart from some really mangy NCR ones, but what, what would you say if we got a dog? I mean, I've been, I've been giving the idea some thought. I mean, we just need to find one, obviously, but, you know. 
you're a pet sort of a person, aren't you? You like, you know, I think I think you do you good, frankly. We can get you to go walk walk the dog in the evenings when we're having some downtime at Good Springs. Motherfucker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I thought so. But um. Oh, all right. Well, here's the thing. Okay. This might, might be worth asking, since you know we, we seem to have a lot of baggage following us around in this little group of ours. Do you have any enemies that we should know about? Motherfucker. Yeah, I thought as much. What did he do to you? Motherfucker! Oh. Well, you know, perhaps one day you'll get revenge, like like Boone's doing. Motherfucker. Well, I take it you're a rather well-traveled individual like my good self. I mean, you know, before you met me, anyway. Motherfucker. What was the most amazing thing that you ever saw in the wasteland? Mother fucker. That's impressive. You paint such a vivid picture, I feel like I'm there. Mother fucker. Let's get going. Mother fucker. Indeed. Excuse me, uh I'm just security. Not a doctor. Yeah, I know. I was just asking you if you knew where the doctor was. Oh, that might be her away now. Hey, here we go. All right, see? See, I told you. I know how to queue. I'm a pro at this. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Uh-huh, what kind of implants do you have available? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Bloody... Nora. Uh, Very well. Okay, so yeah, we can do that, or we can do this. Perform cybernetic surgery. A kinetic accelerator implant. What's that do then? Consisting of a mechanical and a neurological control component, the kinetic accelerator can be used to speed up movement of various body parts. Generally, hydraulic parts near the joints are used for rapid acceleration, while the brain implant takes care of coordinating the movement at increased velocity. Effect times two. Sprint slows down time by 25%. Ooh. 300 caps? That's a steal, that is. You know, I probably could have installed the second one as well. Oh, fuck it, never mind. I wanted that power fist. So. Hey. Damn, dust gets in everything here. Gonna have to clean my rifle again. He's got a point, you know. This is supposed to be a medical clinic. It's kind of mucky. I do hope your tools are sterilized. Well, it's a bit late to worry about that now, isn't it? Still, I've got... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Time slows down. I'm like the Flash. That's... That is seriously cool. Thank you very much. Um... Yes, well, what about those other ones? You're back. Do you need medical attention? I want to buy an implant. Which surgery option are you considering? Uh, hmm. Well, boost my charisma. I don't think my charisma needs any help, really. Let's be honest. Oh, okay. what about my? What about? I, what if I was more intelligent? I mean, you know, not not that I'm not in, intelligent as it is or, or, or anything, but you know, just what, what, I'm just saying. What if? For four thousand caps, I can install a logic coprocessor. All right, don't tell any of the others I mentioned this, but here's the caps. Very well. Thanks very much. Can you can you install it, please? Very well. Thank you. <laughs> it boosts our intelligence by one. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Implanted directly into our cerebral cortex, the logic code processor, it greatly enhances higher brain functions for faster learning, better concentration, and an instant understanding of even the most complicated things. So no more lasers coming out of people's eyes.
<clears throat> okay. So, what is the... T oh, it's kind of late in the day now. Obviously took some time, didn't it? Um, were you getting dehydrated? Am I, am I out of fresh water? I might be, you know. That's probably not good. Yeah, my canteens are empty. Oops. I'd say, it would be alright if I just go and have a look if you've got a sink somewhere. I, aha, here we go. What? Oh. You've got to be kidding. None of these sinks work. Oh, we'll just have to get a drink in Freeside then, won't we? Uh. Is that a, it's an auto dock. It's an ancient and very obsolete Mark One auto dog, despite the similarities in appearance to more advanced models, it shares no compatible parts. Mm. I'd really know anything about that, but yeah, that's right. Okay. All right then. So, right, okay, we're done. I've had my little cybernetic. I do, I do hope you weren't all bored. I mean, I, they, hopefully they at least provided some magazines for you to read. Um, you, know, you could have just wandered off and, you know, it's, it's up to you. I mean, you know. Um, what, was, what was the second operation for? Oh, nothing. It was just, you know. Uh, I had to, uh, you know, have the, have the, you know, the, the leg thing. You know, the leg thing I got the first time around? I, I, I had to have it, you know, fine-tuned. Fine that's, that's all I've got. So yeah, let's let's what? No, there is a knot stitch as you can see on the back of my head. Yeah.